Hello everybody and today we're going to talk about how you can select the correct instrumentation tubing combinations to use with Parker instrumentation tube fittings both the airlock and the CPI type and this is using the Parker tubing tables which can be found in our catalogues. Now first of all you will select the material that you're looking to uh, find the pressure ratings for. In this case we're using the table for 316 stainless steel as you can see at the top um, and also on these in the catalogue you will find all of the tubing specification that you would need to give a tubing supplier to ensure that you have the right specification of tube to use with our fitting products. And very simply, what we have for all of these is the OD sizes on the left hand side, which are available for that particular material and tube fitting combination. And then the wall thicknesses across the top, um, where, which are available in the different um, OD sizes and combinations that we offer. Now, in this case, for example, if we uh, use the quarter inch size here, the quarter inch OD, we can see that that is available in 0 0.028, 0 0.035, 0 0.049 and 0 0.065 inch wall thickness options. Now, um, just for illustration purposes, we're going to work, say, a quarter inch and uh, on the 0 0.049 wall thickness. So if you look and uh, uh, if you look down the left hand side, we pick the quarter inch OD. And we read across until we hit the wall thickness that is specified, it's the 0 0.049. That gives us the combination pressure rating for uh, that tube with a uh, Parker instrumentation tube fitting, again, either airlock or CPI, of 7,500 psi. Now, we will mention the different colours that you can find in the tables as well. First of all, we're going to talk about gas service here, and these are the light blue boxes. Um, now because of the thinner wall thickness here and because of the hoop strength offered from the tube, um, it is difficult to get a full bubble tight gas service um, for the tube fitting and tube combination in those lighter wall thicknesses. And that's why those particular combinations are not recommended for gas service. Now for the other colours, the green is recommended for all services, gas and liquid, and, and would use the standard assembly procedure, manual assembly, uh, assembly procedure. Now, the grey numbers you see at the bottom there, now these are uh, combinations where we would suggest you use a uh, Parker pre-assembly tool to help with the assembly uh, and installation of the, of the fittings, and again, recommended for all gas and liquid services. The final ones you'll see here, are the yellow and in this case this is recommended for all services again but here we would recommend you use these combinations and assemble uh, with fittings using a hydraulic hyphoset pre-assembly tool. Now all of those um, uh, pre-assembly uh, or oh, sorry assembly instructions can be found in our instructional videos. Um, in this case we're also showing you the uh, metric sizes here. Now this is the metric OD down the left uh, left hand side and the metric wall thickness is across the top and you'll see here that as the imperial ones are in fractional these ones are in uh, bar so sorry the, the if the imperial ones are in psi excuse me then the uh, metric ones are illustrated in in bar now there is one Final thing we need to take into consideration when using the tables, and that's in, if you're working at elevated temperatures. And in this case, we have what are called derating factors for um, uh, using those material combinations at elevated temperatures. Now, as an example, uh, if we work on 316 stainless steel, again, which is the first column here on the left, and we work at a temperature of, say, 300 degrees C, now, we, the closest we have there, but above it, is 315 degrees C. So we can see that the derating factor for that would be 0.85. So if we use the example we did uh, earlier, which was zero quarter inch OD with a 0 0.049 wall thickness in 316 stainless steel, we found from our standard tube tables that the, that the pressure rating for that was 7,500 PSI. At elevated temperature of 300 degrees C, we would use the derating factor of 0.85, which gives us an overall working pressure of 6,375 psi. 
Now, all this is part of our small bore expert training um, that we offer at, uh, for, uh, at Parker Instrumentation. And the idea here is just to give good training for engineers so they can increase their understanding of their own systems and certainly of their own installation procedures, which will improve the safety and integrity of their small bore tube installations and systems. And, and tubing is an integral part of a good tube fitting installation. And finally, the goal here is that we improve the integrity of the overall asset. And that is um, the goal for all um, installations across all marketplaces. Okay. All of those details can be found in our catalog. The catalog uh, details are there and you can download those from the internet and from our websites. Um, and that's where you'll find all of the tubing tables we referred to today and all of the reference information. So, it only remains for me to say thank you very much for joining me today and take care.